Welcome back to the vlog channel and today we are house hunting once again. So today we're going to check out a couple more houses. This time they're more expensive, but they are in much nicer neighborhoods. So we're going to see if those are a better fit. All right, here we are for the first house of today. And this one is very nice looking on the outside. The roof has recently been replaced last year. Well, 20, yeah, 2022. I really like the colors. It's very nice. The landscaping is good. Now this house was built in about 2005. So it has lots of great details already worked in. You have the nice border here, established landscaping. And then when we go inside, we'll see more things that have been updated as well. Of course, there's some things that are dated about the house, but it is well made. The concrete, it's all in really good shape. So here's the side view. They have really good landscaping. That's nice. It covers up your air conditioner. This system doesn't look too old. I mean, it looks like a nice piece of metal. And then back here, they have the screened in porch that's really good and then this fence looks like it's actually maintained by the or it's put up and everything by the community and then you just kind of keep it clean they have a shrub over there kind of bordering their property i wouldn't mind getting some kind of a small fence put in like a when you just push in the ground for stella and just run it right up to it. That's not very huge, and I don't need a big yard, but look at that. Oh, it has a little stamped concrete walkout. I wonder if it's, oh, it's open. There's a fan out here. Let's see, there's, a... yeah, there's a fan. Where does that take you? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, I see, this is the whole the whole main area. There is a busy road out there, but that's not terrible. It's kind of like if you're, imagine yourself at the beach. It's like an ocean wave. See, just pretend that there's dolphins out there and orcas. It's nice for ambient sound to have something. All right, let's walk right through the front door and look here. So right when you walk in, there is this kind of large tile. The floors in this house, as we're gonna see, are not my most favorite thing. What I like a lot about this particular room and space is these giant doors in the back. Those three. Oh, and there's electrical on the, the floor. I like that. This opens completely up. Let's see, I don't know how to do that. So it opens, and it's one of these types of doors that I've seen on like TV shows and stuff. Isn't that amazing? So you can have this completely open and open that one up and then just let that cross breeze come through. Isn't that great? Large tiles over here. This kitchen is a good size, needs to be updated, of course, visually. Comes with everything, a little bit dated, but that's all right. Does come with the washer and dryer as well. Nice to have that. The garage is right through here, two car. Comes with a utility sink, which is always great to have. And maybe a lawnmower, I don't know. Okay, let's go back through this way. We'll take a look at the bedrooms. So one thing else I want to mention about this house is it has the nice blinds. These are those wider blinds. So they're better than just a basic mini blind. There's a little bit of texture on there too. So that's cool. So yeah, there's the, and this is a large back porch too. It, it goes almost the length of the house or the width of the house. I th the master is over here. Oh, and also these recessed areas. So that would be great for your TV and everything. I think that's kind of the idea about it. You could put your TV in that hole, maybe put a couch here in the middle, put a little table behind it, plug into that with that there. There's another recess over there too, I'm noticing. Maybe you could put like a little office or something over there. But over here, we've got the main bedroom and it's of a nice size. Windows, does have a fan. 
And this bathroom is a great size, very large. Shower to the left, and then the closet with your where you where you go to the bathroom. Double vanity, and then a walk-in closet. That's a good size. Wow. Walk-in closet. Oh, it has ADT stuff there. Okay. And there's two rooms up front. We'll look at those. Those are the other two rooms. What a nice space here. Oh, okay. That's like a dining room based on the light. Okay. That makes sense. So this is where the other two rooms are. This is the larger of the two rooms. For me, I do reselling, so this would be good for that. It's, uh, this is in the front of the house. The bathroom is here, guest bathroom. And then the spare room is here, a little bit smaller. But for a guest, you don't want too much space, do you? So <laughs> I really, really like this house. I think it checks a lot of the stuff off my list. It's a nice area. The floors are a little disjointed for my taste, but floors are not that expensive to change, really. And the, kit, the kitchen it would be the only other thing. It's, what I like, it's just a nice, large, open area. So everything is connected to each other. You can be standing in the kitchen and watch TV. You could be out there. Every, it's just a very workable space. And I work from home, and I'm home a lot, so this is really... This is really nice. Yeah, this is very good. We are walking in another house right now. The exterior of this one is just like the other one that we looked at, but this one has this sort of flooring in here. It looks kind of like the reverse. So the kitchen is over on that side, but something that this one has is also this room with the with the, the doors that open up into this room. So they are classifying this as a bedroom. So it has these, I, the doors are cool. So that's the room there. And then there's also a room over here. Well, there's the bathroom here. Spoiler alert, I don't like this house. <laughs> they have the nice big porch back there. Oh, and they got some dogs on the porch. And here's the master here. See, those are some nice blinds. These are the upgraded blinds. They have the, yeah, see, these are not cheap to get. The louvered ones like this, very coastal looking. Yeah, I mean, it, overall, it's a nice house. It has the, it has a similar floor plan. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, it's so cute. I know. No, you gotta get down. You don't wanna break the window. And there's another dog in the backyard there. So yes, this house is, um, just for comparison, on the back of that fence is the same road that we were that on the other house, but they tied it in. So you can see you can tie in the same fence to the existing fence. So that's good to know. Okay, let me turn the lights out and we're gonna pop out of here. One thing I also wanna do is go to the the, uh, the community center and check out the pool area because I think it's a big perk to this neighborhood. Make sure I turn the lights out. I turned those out. And here's the outside of this one, by the way. So this one does not have the border or anything. It has some mulch, of course, but it's not as upgraded. So I definitely like the other one more. All right, so we're standing outside of the clubhouse area and they have a very nice heated pool. Oh, look at this. It's all gated and key card, part of your HOA fee. That is a very nice pool. Look at that, it has a little fountain action and it's heated. Then over here, it looks like a little splash park. And then there's also this way, there's a, you know, there's a ton of trails, walking trails around here, place for your bike. And then over there, a little jungle gym, swings through that way. But then also you have basketball, tennis courts over there. Nice lake with trails going all the way around it. 
super, super nice. So this, this would be fantastic for me specifically because I do work from home, so I can definitely pop on over here throughout the day if I want to in between work or I can come out here and work doing videos, editing. Oh, this is really nice. There's also a volleyball court over there. But here's the actual clubhouse building. I'm not sure if we can get in there. I would like to, but it looks really nice. And I would imagine they have some area in there to sit for residents, like a nice little club sitting area. I could maybe do some work, would be cool. Let's go in here and take a look. They have this covered area over here and the landscaping is all really nice as well. I like this, the cobblestones, so there's rocking chairs. It looks like Cracker Barrel. Okay, this is really nice. So here we are inside of the clubhouse. They have all of this seating. This is half of it, by the way, or part of it, a third of it maybe. They have all of the seating throughout here. And then looks like a kitchen, like a, I don't know, you could use the microwave too if you'd like. Little bookshelf there. It's really windy and cloudy today, so it's not like the wonderful war Florida weather but although this is Florida weather it's it's very temperamental you have some seating out here it, this is all carded so even to get into into here you need to use a key card let's go out this way to the main area and there's also this section with gaming looks like a pool air hockey foosball you could play with play-doh and shaving cream you know how you do with shaving on the on the tables there. You've got these big bean bags here, a TV. Here we are in the fitness center, like a little hallway. They've got weights and everything there. And then off to the right, there's bathrooms, water fountains. That's really nice too. I see somebody working out, so we're not going to be too loud in here. Lots of weights. This is really cool. Wow. Okay, let's walk outside here and get a better look at this pool area. Oh yeah, see that is, <laughs> that is just remarkable. Isn't that wonderful? Is it unlocked? I think this entrance is unlocked because we had to use a card to get, how do you, I'm not apparently smart enough to use, oh, there we go. You have to pull that open and pull this for, okay. It's a two-handed situation normally. Look at that pool. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Absolutely. So it looks like it has four feet to five feet. It looks like it goes down to about five feet in total in depth. Wow. Oh, here comes the sun. I told you. And it's heated too. Wanna, let me feel it. It's not as warm as I'd expect, but it's not cold. They've got external bathrooms here too, and water fountains. Jeez, it's like being in a hotel. Yeah, this area is very nice. They have a great lake over here. And I just really like all of the landscaping that they've done as well. All right, so I wanted to give an update on what had happened with this particular house. Now the last house that I showed, well, the one that I actually liked, I put an offer in and they accepted. So that is now the official house that I am getting in this really awesome community here in Ocala, Florida. So I'm really excited. And now we just have the closing to get through and all of the inspections and everything. But I will keep you updated on this channel as we progress, but it's been, it's been a journey. So for now, I will wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.